Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello everyone. <laughs> we just got home after a long day. Uh, it's 5 o'clock. So, but I wanted to go ahead and do a video for you guys for tomorrow. That way I don't have to do it like at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave early tomorrow. Yeah, we have work again tomorrow. Um, and Clint still can't go by himself because he hasn't taken his driver's test yet. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so again, we are using some guest checks. If you guys don't have guest checks, you can, of course, get them online. Or you could just use just plain paper, um, scrapbook paper, any, you know, just any fun paper that you want to use it's I just have a bunch of these they're already coffee dyed and I saw these are inspired by Pinterest so I saw this on Pinterest and I kind of liked it so we're gonna try it and see um, you know I don't really know what they did I see a picture and then I kind of recreate it in my style so I shellify it as some people would say <laughs> uh, we are using some napkin so we are going to do some decoupage and the easiest way to separate these napkins I learned from Crafty Irina years and years ago is to just use a piece of tape and I just have some um, washi tape turn it over for your napkin and then just kind of rip it this one looks like it has two layers, so I'm just going to yep, take it down to the second layer and see what I can do here. There we go. But we're going to go ahead and take the two layers off. Because you really want to get down to the very bottom or the very top layer. Sometimes you'll have two, sometimes you'll just have one. And sometimes if you're in a swap, they will do this part for you. If you're looking for some napkins, I think I still have two orders in the store. So if you guys wanted to look for some cute napkins and you weren't sure. <clears throat> again, we are doing these in a um, assembly line. So I want to put some napkin on each one of these. So we're going to use our Mod Podge and I am using matte Mod Podge. Um, I think I picked this one up at Home Depot. Home Depot sells, uh, yeah, Mod Podge for about eight bucks. But I also get it online or Hobby Lobby or, you know, wherever. So... What I'm gonna do, I just wanted to pull out one napkin, that way I'm not having like a huge mess and having all, you know, little bits and pieces of all these napkins. And we're kind of, I'll show you what we're gonna do. But we're kind of just gonna go on the center of each one of these guest checks. So. But yeah, we had a long day. We left here about 7 or 7.30 and we just got home and Clint said, <laughs> famous last words, we don't have a lot to do today. I, I think we had two that, we had. two jobs when we left. We had no privates or anything like that. And then when we, uh, privates or individuals calling us, uh, by 7.20 or 7.30. Clint had just said that. Oh, you know, we won't have anything to do unless somebody calls us. Yep. And I mean, right as soon as he said that, the phone rang. And I think the phone rang and he got a text, like, simultaneously. So it was, yeah, one lady had two jobs for us to do. And this other guy had one job for us to do. And it was just, <laughs> it, was, it was funny because, you know, that always happens. Anyways, we ended up, I think he ended up doing six private jobs. Not even counting the two jobs that we did, you know, that we had originally. 
so. Plus we got two tomorrow because we couldn't get to them today. Yeah, we were so busy. We had to put some of them off until tomorrow. <laughs> I tell you guys, it was so... We had a fun day, though. It we went... So yeah, we went to one of our favorite places to eat. We were in the in that town, and so we had a nice lunch, yeah. and of course, you know, we just like to go together, but man, it's getting so hot out there. Clint and I both, neither one of us do well in the heat, and thankfully, you know, our vehicle does have air. A lot of people in this area don't have air, but man, it has made such a difference. It's just very warm right now. It's so Yeah, so... Okay, so I'm going to do those two, and then let's look for the other ones and just kind of see. I kind of want to mix and match and kind of have them a little bit different if I can, you know. Like maybe this one would just have like a butterfly. But yeah, I just literally walked in the door and grabbed my, my video stuff so I could get this video up for you guys. Clint's going to help me out in a minute, so. Yeah, if I, sorry, I apologize. He's not feeling the greatest. He's, you know, when we're gone all day and stuff, sitting in the car is one of the worst things, and we drive, we drove quite a bit today, so it was, it was pretty a very long day. <laughs> That's pretty, I like that. I think I'll just leave that one like that and then we'll go ahead and put maybe just flowers over here without like the butterfly or anything but we just had a fun day even though it was hot you know the oh it was so hot today it was cold this morning i think it was like 43 or something yeah we actually had wind chill this morning which yeah has, it, means it has to be in the 40s to get the wind chill so you know, it was really chilly this morning. It was wonderful. And yeah. we actually turned on the bathroom heater again, which we only do when we're just cold because, you know, when we shower and stuff. Because we don't have central heat and air or anything. It's just central. I mean, we have space heaters and <laughs> window, you know, air conditioners. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. And then I'm going to just use a little bit of my Mod Podge and get those stuck down. My Sophia is right there and she's playing with my water and my <laughs> brush. She's so silly. She's silly girl. But we just walked in the door so we'll see if Cubby already visited with me for a few minutes. Yeah, so, I don't know where he went to. Yeah, I don't know either. He might be the one that's playing. I keep hearing something yeah. in the kitchen. So he might be playing in there. I'm not sure what he's doing. Chloe came out for half a second. I mean, she was literally out maybe five minutes and said she was ready to go back to bed. Oh, she went back? <laughs> yeah, she just... Aww. She's like, Mama, I'm ready. She's funny. She has her little um, routine. And come 4 o'clock, if it's 4 o'clock out here, then she usually doesn't want, she wants to go back to bed. And she'll stay in there until we go to bed. And then she stays in there with us. But she's been locked up all day, you know, so we wanted to, we let her out when we get home. But we leave her in there because she prefers that. Yeah, I was going to say, we don't lock her in there. She Not just, on that's purpose. Her, that's her safe spot. <laughs> So she she's more comfortable in there, in and there. that's where she wants to go when we're not here. Yeah. Because Miss <clears throat> Sophia sometimes will pick on her, and some yeah. of the other cats too. But <clears throat> I tell you, she just so we let her out. I mean, that's like the first thing we do when we walk in the house is go and let Chloe out. <clears throat> and she was already ready to go back in there. Blame Plus, it's hot in here. Can you guys even hear me? We have the air on. Oh crap. <laughs> That's okay. We can try it and see. Maybe it won't be so bad. It was really hot in here when we got home because Clint will usually set the um, air so and we were kind of running out the door and he forgot to set it, which is fine. But she might have been hot because it was pretty warm. 
and we always have our air conditioner on in the bedroom. But she kind of got like a heat heated stroke or something, or yeah, heat ex something. It wasn't very good. But when we didn't have a heater or an air conditioner, she got so sick. I mean, she was, you know, kind of yeah. listless and stuff like that a few years ago. So we always, because she's got the long hair. And we all, always just make sure that she has coal. So you guys have to tell me how bad this is when <laughs> it goes up tomorrow if the air conditioner is distracting or not. I think it's going to be. I really do. Well, we can turn it off if you want. Okay, we're going to turn it off and then just, and we'll see. So sorry if it was distracting up until now. Well, so, the microphone is really sensitive. Well, yeah, my microphone's right here. And I did get like a um, wired in microphone, but I can't make it work. So I thought, well, if I could put it like on my collar or something, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so distracting. But I never could get it to work. So, okay, so now we are just going to, I thought I would do this around the same time, kind of let these dry. But I want to back these with some coffee dye paper. <coughs> so we're going to see. Again, I am using some art glitter glue. And we're going to back these. Uh, Clint is going to sew around these. So I'm not going to worry too much about the edges. And, you know, I'm going to have to. I'm going to do a little cutting right, right here. But, you know, as far as the, man, that thing just, <laughs> just kind of gets all goopy and won't cut or clean out. I really need to clean that this week. Maybe I'll do that. Ah, come on. But something in there is clogging it up. That's why I always say I have a love-hate relationship with this glue. Are you ready? No. Oh, okay. I have to let it all dry and yeah I'm just talking I'm just talking so I'm gonna kind of do it oh, man. Uh, that's okay I just ripped off his wings <laughs> oh, dear. I was kind of hoping that way you know I could let the glue all dry by it together I tell ya might not have been the best idea. <laughs> so I'll have to get my heat heat gun out heat. here in a Isn't minute. That in the bedroom. Right? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, hold on, so. I got bad news. <laughs> your little brat's in here. My brat? Yeah, he's by your foot. Oh, is he? Yeah. By my oh, foot? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Uh oh, here he comes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Look who it is. It's Cubby. <laughs> so, Clint went and got my heat gun for me. Because I do need these to be fairly dry when he goes to sew them. So, he's going to sew them. And then I'll continue my decorating. So, we thought we'd kind of do a tag team project. <laughs> you guys know how we how we are. We enjoy that. Chloe's out. Hi, Chloe. She wanted back out, huh? Oh, yeah. She was telling me she was waiting. <laughs> She's our talker. She, she, she tells talks. If she's not happy, talk. she'll tell you. And she's always been that way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off. And we'll dry these up really well. And then we'll be back and we'll finish these. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all of these um, pretty much dried, and I went ahead and dried the back to you because I don't know if it was like too wet, the guest check was, but um, I could feel the dampness. So I want to show you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do two of these into tags, and then two of these like into... Um, pockets kind of like floating pockets which just means that you know you're not going to glue them down so and then the tags so I did put them all on coffee dyed paper this 
uh, coffee dye paper is from GT Designs, so girl Tom, so GT Designs, and I love her coffee dye paper, and I still have quite a bit of it. And let's see which ones I want. Um, let's do this one as a little tag, and we'll do this one as a tag. So they're a little bit different, but you know they're kind of the same as well. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to cut part of this down. Again, this is kind of my play on something I saw on Pinterest. And so they put a little pocket here. So I'm just going to go up about, let's do the third line, one, two, three, and just approximately, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to put that one over here. Let's do this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then there should be one more. There it is. <laughs> so just about one, two, three. So it's about an inch or so over the number, above the number. And that's going to be a little pocket right there. So, one thing I want to do is I just want to make sure that I have it well glued down where that pocket is because I don't think I'm going to have that sewn. And, and the rest of it, Clint will sew. But this is going to kind of go right there. So, it's going to be kind of like a small, sorry going to be kind of like a little smaller um, guess check but you know the numbers in the right orientation and that kind of thing so I did have some ideas I have this Inca gold and I also have like a darker um, this is walnut stain so I thought I would kind of play with that my Inca gold was really dried out so I went ahead and put some water in it we're gonna see if we can't you know kind of play with it and make it work I've heard people doing this so we're just gonna see what we can do but I think it's gonna work <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some gold I thought that might be a kind of fun change on these you know just kind of put some gold on it and I don't want it perfect I just want it kind of slapped on there you know and then we'll set that aside to dry too but I wanted to go ahead and do that before we sew. That way, you know, I get gold all the way around it. I just Abby. thought that would be kind of fun. Sorry, guys. Uh, I do want to... I forgot what I'm going to do with this one. But <laughs> I do want to round the corners on my floating pockets. So this one's going to be a floating pocket. And I want to do that before I add my ink of gold. Which I should have thought of, huh? Let's just do the top, or just the, yeah, the top part. But I just thought that would be kind of fun. This is the only Inca gold. I know they have, like, all different colors. They have blue. They have silver. They have, I think they have different silvers and stuff. This one, it just says Inca gold. But I thought there was a color, like, real gold or something. But I thought that would be kind of fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go around everywhere. Um, this one just so that if you see it from a different direction. Even when it's um, painted or whatever. Sewn. Then you kind of. But I thought you know how some of them have that kind of gold edged papers and stuff. I thought that would be kind of sweet. So, and I think I'm just going to kind of put just a touch of glue here. Try to do that without my <laughs> fingers sticking to anything. And I'm going to let that dry for just a minute, and then I'll have Clint um, yep. sew it all the way around. So, we're going to tag team this project. Yes. So, I'm going to set that aside, let that dry for just a little bit. And then I'm just going to move to my other one. So, let's go ahead and... Do this one. This will be your floating tag too. Oh, and then again, I'm just gonna do 
the ink of gold. I really like that. I think that's really fun. It's kind of messy. It's just kind of <laughs> fun to play with. I was going to say, but it's fun to play with. It's fun to play with because you're um, watercoloring, kind of. <laughs> Clint's got to wash his glasses. That's what happens when you get old, huh? <laughs> That's okay. I still have quite a few to do, but, and it needs to dry, so. Oh, okay. But we just, we just had a fun day today, you know. It was such a good day. We did. It really and was. We were definitely busier, but you know, that's what we've been hoping for, yeah, so we can't complain too much. <laughs> well, we, we want to work long days instead of a bunch of short days so yeah. if we can work two long days a week i'd rather do that than have four shorter days like tomorrow we should have a fairly short day well you know well we should but, <laughs> but no guarantee with that huh because <laughs> that's less time we have to spend driving and just yeah in the car and harder on our time. yeah and that, you know, it bothers my legs as much as it bothers his back, so. Okay. Okay. That one, I can't tell. My hands are so goopy. <laughs> Do you need some paper towels? I have some. I just can't tell if it's dry, so you'll have to kind of check it out before you sew on oh, it. Oh, yeah. But I think it is, for the most part. <laughs> uh, let's do this one. You can try this one if you want to. And I might come back and do, you know, the darker um, ink, to just to kind of give it another, no, 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 this, this one. one. Yeah, kind of check it and see if it looks dry to you before you. <laughs> I don't want you to ruin your, so your needle well, or anything. Yeah, it's coming off a little bit. So it might have to be just a little bit longer. So... The cats, I'm surprised, are not like right in our face because usually they are when we get home, you know. Uh, this one I'm going to make into a tag, so I'm just cutting the corner. You want to match it up, and then you're just going to flip it. Okay. And you'll have like, it's supposed to have perfect corners. <laughs> Try not to get this ink of gold stuff all over my... If you don't have the ink of gold too, you could just use paint. You know, that'd be kind of fun. Or like, you know, the distress sprays. You could put that on like the, like on your mat or in a little bottle or something and just kind of do that around the edges. That'd be kind of cute too. But I just kind of wanted to play with this and I've seen somebody who had, who just added some water to theirs as it, you know, dried out and stuff. Sophia, what are you doing? <laughs> she keeps reaching up for my water for my Mod Podge. Okay, that looks nice. And then let's go ahead and do this one. She's our straw stealer. She loves straws too. It's oh yeah, Sophia loves straws. <laughs> I told you, she's our plastic girl for sure. She loves anything plastic and straws is one of her big draws. And Cubby, Cubby will still straws too. Oh yeah. He's like, sometimes we bring them home like from Starbucks or something and give it to him. But I also have some like as a backup for them to play with. Yeah, they love that. Anything that's, you know, pliable that they can play with. And somebody was asking me how many cats we have and I know I mention this quite often, but we have seven. Our limit was supposed to be four, but then we got these little orphan guys and fell in love with them, so now it's seven. <laughs> Every once in a while I ask Clint, uh, honey, do you think we'd even notice if we had one more? <laughs> Probably not, but I'm good. Yeah, he's pretty good, and what's funny is he's, I mean, he loves cats, so yeah. you never know. He might come home one day and say, hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Never know, but my little part, he couldn't handle He's that. really, yeah, he's got that tender heart, so his little guy does. He so. was pretty well pissed off this morning at me. 
Yeah. Oh, and me too. You wouldn't even count. I went to love on him, Clint's little guy, and he turned his back to me. I was going to reach out and pet him. So I kind of got it, pet him, and he just looked at me, turned around, and walked off. <laughs> he's like, uh-uh. Because he started taking, taking to me. I mean, he's always loved me, but he hasn't, oh, he hasn't been that, you know, like, you're my mama and only my mama, like he is with his daddy. Daddy and Bessie. So. I know. I know, honey. No, 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 Lil. Lil, he get lost. <laughs> she knows it's almost treat time. She's Daddy, like, it's okay. So let me kind of wipe my hand off and then we'll check these guys. <laughs> Daddy, I know, honey. Daddy won't be, oh, he's not going to be uh, long. Daddy, come on, Look at my hands. Aren't they horrible? <laughs> I know. Paul. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to run, wash my hands, and move some of this stuff so the cats don't get into it. And Clint's going to continue sewing, and I'll be right back. Okay, so Clint has finished a couple of these. I went ahead and dried them. That way we didn't have to wait on him um, doing his uh, to sew them. Because, like I said, I really don't want to mess anything up. I did clean up for the most part. Uh oh, did I get that on his table? Just kidding. <laughs> Psych. I did clean up my water and my paintbrush and stuff like that. Um, I don't like to leave anything like that out for the cats because even though, you know, like watercolors and stuff, some of them are poison poisonous for cats. So you always want to be cautious. So... And I thought I would just try this uh, walnut stain just to kind of add just a little bit uh, kind of around the edges, kind of make it pop out a little more. Chloe, what's wrong, honey? Chloe? Chloe? Chloe, you okay? I think she's okay. I don't know what she's... You okay? She's just talking. I don't know what she's doing. She was just rolling around. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. She's okay. Sometimes we don't really know what they're telling us, but. Hmm. You okay? Is she okay? No. She's to be tough on their shit. Her cloth yeah. stuff or something. But, uh, most of the cats don't mind me trimming their claws, but man, Chloe, she's a nightmare. She does not like it. Clint puts on his winter jacket <laughs> before we trim her claws, and she's at that stage where she needs them trimmed again. So we thought maybe her claws were were stuck or something. She's okay. But she's fine. She's she just a little warm though. She was just talking. Okay, and here's the other one. That's kind of pretty. I like that. Chloe's our one that's part Maine Coon. Yeah, she's a really big cat, and boy, when we trim her claws, though, she will not talk to us for like two or three hours. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, you hurt my feelings, and I'm not going to talk to you. So, Bitty. it's kind of... Oh, Bitty. Oh. Biddy wants to play with ribbon. He decided that he loves to play with ribbon, so he'll keep walking back and forth across the ribbon <clears throat> until Daddy picks it up and plays with him. <laughs> you guys, I tell you, our cats are so funny. They are hilarious. <laughs> Biddy's real. He's a very smart cat, and he tells you what he wants. You just got to listen to him. You just got to listen to him. <laughs> Okay, so now what I thought I would do, and this is kind of what I saw on uh, Pinterest, and I figured what they did is kind of, you know, decoupage the napkin on. They cut this piece and moved it up. I didn't see that they, they may have sewn across it. I'm not really sure, but, uh, you know, I just kind of see a picture and kind of think, oh, I could do this, this, and this. So, I was thinking... Because I didn't really decorate much here. And I thought maybe some stamps or something would be kind of fun. 
to decorate. You know, I have this like butterfly. The colors kind of match. So maybe something like that. You know, just kind of decorating up your um, things. And then I thought, wouldn't that be fun if we like altered, you know, one of these or even just put coffee dye paper or something on the back. And then you could pop that in there with, you know, some other items like that and attach it with a paper clip or so, something in your book. Jazz it up a little bit. Jazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of my stamps and like maybe a butterfly on this one. I still have some of these butterflies. They are from, they're actually um, wall decals that I picked up on Amazon. <coughs> Excuse me, when I went back and did my butterfly books, my butterfly journals. So I think that'll be kind of fun. And then maybe some lace or something, ribbon. I do have some ribbon here. I'll do this one that looks Sorry. Really pretty. That's okay. <laughs> but you know, just kind of decorate the little pocket area. Since these are going to be tags, or you know floating tags or tags or whatever you can write on the back and what I like to do is uh, you know I don't mind a little bit of bulk on these because you can remove them to write on them. Let's see how that worked. That didn't work very well. But I thought it'd be kind of something different. I, I haven't ever done anything like this. And, you know, I have, like I said, tons of these little guest checks. So now's a good time to use them. And we'll just kind of decorate them up. And I'm not really worrying about any certain color or anything like that. What I want to do is just kind of do them however, you know, whatever comes to me at the moment. Because I like to have stuff in my stash. And that's what we're doing as a stash buster or stash builder using, you know, some of this, uh, just some things that we have. So if I do end up doing like a hot pink uh, journal or something, you know, I could make this work or, you know, a tan journal or something like that. A spring journal, you know, even a fall journal because of the colors. So it just really depends on you and what you want to do. But I think it looks kind of fallish because of the colors, but it could also be spring because of the flowers and the butterflies. I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of um, hold him down for a little bit. Oh, I, see. I got my first order for... Oh, Clint got an order for... Two chenille book covers. Book covers. So I need to get back I'm with... very excited about thank that. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Clint was so excited. <laughs> but I'll get back to you with the uh, uh, measurements, Lisa, yeah. and stuff like that. <coughs> if you see this before I do. So, isn't that cute? So, it's just kind of fun guest checks. Let's go ahead and do this one. See what we want to put on here. Um, I do have my... I mean, look at these little guys. We could stick those either... We could pop them in here and kind of leave them hanging out. You could just pop them in here like that. Or you could put them on top of it and then put a little paper clip. So there's all kinds of things you can do. I mean, I'll put my glue thing there to keep that down. So we're just going to kind of play, put a little more stuff here. Uh, I don't think these take very long. Let's use this. It's kind of like a... What kind of ribbon is this? Is it a grow grain? Grow grain. Oh, that's that from that grow. Yeah, grove. from Grove. Grove Collaborative. We order some stuff from there. And that's what I used on the uh, belly band. Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna put that here. Okay. I really like the numbers of these guest checks. I think those are really fun. I did. I stitched it in white because that was that's what I've been using for the 
for his ruffles, joke. Yeah. So. But I think it would have been really cool, like she, in a brown or even a dark blue or something. Yeah, she didn't. She, I, I had to change my foot. She said she didn't want to ask me to change my thread too. <laughs> yeah, because he had on that ruffler, you know, the ruffle one, and I didn't want him to have to like do all this work, especially after we worked all day long. It's just kind of. So I just asked him to. Is that it? I think that was all for you. Thank you, baby. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. Put my, put my ruffler back on. Put your ruffler back on. Yeah. So Clint is hoping to start making some more ink blenders in the next few days. Um, yeah. Three. We did have like, um, we thought we were going to have to run up to Norwood tomorrow. Did you ever call that lady? I didn't know. And, uh, <clears throat> but then she wrote, you know, which is like, hour and a half the opposite direction and she wrote and said that she wants to be there when we're there which we can't get there when she wants to be there until next week so <laughs> it's kind of hard to rearrange your schedule and stuff you know here and there sometimes well it's so far away well yeah well and she says she can only be there Tuesday and Wednesday, but, you know, pretty oh, much Tuesday and Wednesday were the days that we could be there, so we're kind of having to rearrange and trying to meet up with her, so some people don't care if, we're, if they're there when we locate or not, so okay. just personal preference, I suppose. That's kind of cute, and maybe like a little needs like a little flower or something. What about one of your I cushions? think. Yeah, I have to go get. Oh. But then I'd have to go get one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know where they were either. Yeah, let me go grab one. Because I think it needs a crochet good. flower right there. So I'm going to go grab that and then we'll finish these up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed my little bucket of, bucket, little jar of yeah, little flowers. So I'm going to use those, I think. And I'll put that down. And then when I find my flatback pearls again, I'll... <laughs> I may put them up. I can't remember what I did with them. But I think that'd be really cute with a flatback pearl in the center. So, but that's kind of cute. What do you guys think of that one? And I love just pulling these out, you know, and using them. The guest checks are just kind of fun. And the ephemera, you know, having it ready to go is kind of fun too. This one, I'm not going to back it with the Distress Ink or go around it. So, but we are going to make these tags. And I'm just using my hole punch. This is like an eighth of an inch hole punch. And I'm going to put two holes side by side because they're kind of a little um, tiny. And I want to put some ribbon or something in here. Let's put a little green ribbon. I'm going to bring out the green. Green's my favorite color. So it has been for many, many years. And then we'll just pop it in there. But I just love, I thought this might be kind of fun, just something a little bit different. Ooh, almost went through my, my tag there. But, so we'll have a cute little tag there. And then maybe a little bit of, let me see, pink. There's a fly bouncing around buzzing somewhere. Around. Fly buzzing around. Sophia hears it. The boys are usually really good fly catchers. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll catch them. They'll catch them, yeah, in midair, and then they'll have a little snack. So since we got them, we really don't have very many flies because they do take care of that for us. Which is amazing since we don't have goats. Usually when you have goats, you have tons of flies and but. In the house, we probably have had him. Yeah. 
I'm not sure you said that right. <laughs> What's wrong with that? So I'm not sure you said that right. I thought I you said. I didn't say it right. We haven't <laughs> hardly when had you have, very many. Yeah, when you have goats, you usually have a lot of flies. But we haven't had a lot. In the house. Since we got these guys, even when they were itty bitty, they would pretty much chase the flies. Because we got them when, you know, like in October, early October. So there wasn't a lot of flies at that time. But... They're really good. If we ever have mice, too, they're pretty good with that, too. Sophia wants to go catch a fly, I think. Is that where you're going, honey? But, yeah, so we have seven. And the oldest one's about 12. And the youngest one are the triplets. And they're about two and a half. Two and a half. But it's doesn't layer correctly. Oh well, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> okay, so I can't really okay, make sure I'm in frame. Uh this one I thought, let's see what we could do here. Let's put more pink. Look at this one, isn't that a pretty stamp? Nigeria. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, we'll just put some pink. This will be a really pink, pinky one. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, like decoupage down here and add it if you wanted to. Um, I just didn't. So, let's see. Ooh, look at this. It's almost like a felt ribbon. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and trim that down. They're over there. You'll hear them jumping and stuff, but they're just chasing their... Chasing the flies. <laughs> they are so funny. Put this here. They've been a lot of fun. I must admit. We have had fun with these guys. They're always bit. Clint's little boy will. He'll hear us when we drive up, and he'll run in there. Like when I'm hold. It sometimes he'll sit in my lap before Daddy gets home. And he'll hear him and he'll run in there and sit on the dryer because the dryer's right by the back door. And then Chloe, if she hears Daddy come home and she's out here, she will jump up and look out the window to see who it is. See if it's Daddy or not. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, they're pretty smart little critters. But since we have a new vehicle, they're kind of, I don't think they're used to it yet. Because today, I think, was the first time in forever that there was no animal out in the porch. In the kind of mud room. So, I was thinking, they, they're not used to, you know, our um, new vehicle. They're, they didn't recognize it. So, I thought that was kind of funny. That was interesting, you know. Let's do this mint color. This is again, and you know, a fun way to use up ribbon, you know, your stamps, collaging, you know, book pages, whatever you want to add to this. Try not to pull it as tight as I did last time. But I really love building my stash. You know, it's just like, I mean, several of you have kind of been uh, crafting along with this and stuff and you know you're kind of the same way you're like oh I made you know several of those last night or or whatever and you know I'm glad that you guys are crafting along and listening to us ramble and because <laughs> we do a lot of rambling oh yeah <laughs> we're both good at that we're both really good at that huh <laughs> I think I'm going to put this little flower on here. These are my handmade flowers and my little handmade crocheted ones. They're tiny. They're probably about maybe half an inch, maybe about three. the size of a dime probably or nickel. Yeah, nickel. just over half an inch. So yeah, probably the size of a nickel. And I may make some of those to put in the store. They don't take that long. It's just, you know, usually when I'm crocheting or something, I'm in the car. 
or I'm in the house and it's really hard when summer's around because it's hot <laughs> and you think oh I really don't want to crochet or do you know anything really with thread or anything like that so we'll see what happens with that I'm not sure when I will have any in the store just kind of depends on the heat and all that good stuff yeah, how busy we are how busy we are and how much you know we feel like we have time for stuff it's just crazy busy right now and I knew it would be and you know as it gets hotter outside it'll slow down a little bit because people don't like to dig in the heat so you know it's just kind of a pattern that we've you know um, noticed over the years because Clint's been doing this for 28 years and I've been doing it since I ma since I married him <laughs> to about 22 years almost huh mm -hmm. kind of been together most of the time working but yeah when it starts getting really really hot people will slow down because they just don't like to work in the heat either I think that's kind of cute. They're saying it's supposed to get, start getting up 80s again. Yeah, is it the... Oh, it's 87 right now. It's 87 right now, and I haven't high seen, far. like, high 90s or anything yet. And we have, you know, yeah. in the past, but I'm hoping this year we won't see you. I know some of you guys live with the heat like that, but around here a lot of people don't have air conditioner, so it would really be rough on a lot of people. I think I might put this. I don't know. I just kind of went all different colors on this. Blue ribbon, teal ribbon, a blue flower, pink and yellow. I don't know. Sometimes you just don't really have any rhyme or reason, I guess, huh? So let's put this here. This is a little tatted piece that Clint's mother made. But I think they're really cute. Hope you guys do something fun like this. You could certainly do them with book pages. You know, back them with some coffee dyed paper. And then just kind of decorate them. That'd be really cute. You can make some tags. So they could just go into your book. Or you can make some little floating pockets. Or if you wanted to, you could use this as a pocket or a tuck spot, you know, just put glue on two sides and have it as a tuck spot. It doesn't really matter that I already put the coffee dyed paper in on it. It's going to make it sturdier. And if I decide to use it as a pocket or a tuck spot in my book, then, you know, just use it however you want to. So, no rhyme or reason. I think they turned out really cute. I really like them and I like I said I think it'd be really cute with just some items popped in here you know I was just thinking about some of these guys like that maybe a little stamp booklet you know we have those little um, I think I used them all this last time but just a little stamp booklet or something just kind of put three or four items in each one and I think they would be really cute so thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys. We appreciate all of your comments. And um, be sure and hit that subscribe button. We are still putting up videos pretty much weekly every or daily. So, and we are trying to just do one a day, even if it's a haul video or something. But, um, yeah, we're still managing for the most part. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so that you're notified. Give this video a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye. Take care.